everyone, it's Alyssa and I am back with an envelope stuffing video. It is payday, so I went to the bank and grabbed all the cash that I needed to fill my envelopes um, for the next two weeks. So I'm going to walk you through kind of my process on how I do this, but you know, everyone's different. So what works for me might not be what works for you and your family. So just kind of adjust it accordingly. But so I have my monthly budget here. I'm weird and I laminated it but um, I basically have my income for the month everything that I need to pay for um, for the entire month but I get paid twice a month so I break these all into two that way you know I'm taking out half of each payment for each paycheck that's just how I prefer to do things so what I do is I write down on a piece of paper how much I'm taking out so it's gonna be half of all these payments so for example my car payment is 358 so I need to take out 179 per um, paycheck so I'm gonna put that back so what I do um, when I'm getting ready to go to the bank is I get a little sticky note like this and I write down what denomination I want Let's see if that's gonna focus so I take out um, a piece of, you know, a post-it or whatever, and I um, write out exactly what I want. So I go through this list and I count, you know, how many 100s do I need? How many 50s to, you know, specifically fill each envelope with the amount that I need? So some people might not go through that trouble, but I'm very particular with everything. So I like to do it that way. And without fail, every time I go, the um, teller likes to comment on how... I have everything added up but um so that's what i do so this particular time i drew out 1128 dollars which that's actually the exact amount that i got paid so that's what i meant last video where i mentioned a zero based budget everything in my that i get paid um every single dollar of that has a purpose so i just personally like to draw it all out with cash and put it in my envelopes but some people like to keep some in their account for different reasons it just, you know, it's completely up to you. I just feel like it's easier for me if I take everything out and in cash and then put it back in my account as needed. So this is all the money that I took out. I'm just going to go down my list and stuff each envelope. So my car payment, I need $179. So that goes into car payment. I'll just set that aside. Car insurance, 65, that's due in a day or two. So this is going to join the other 65 I have in here from the last paycheck. My car payment, that was the first of two um, entries into the envelope because that one gets, you pay that one on a different week for me. Phone bill is 68. So with this one, I, um, this is due like today. So I already put this in the bank. So I'm not going to stuff this envelope. That'll happen next time. Actually I already paid that one. So that is taken care of. Which means I can cross it off. This is my little June budget. Um, let's see. That's for June. Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. That was May's phone bill. Got too excited. Okay, so Adobe Suite is a measly $5. But this is the kind of stuff that if I don't... If I think to myself, oh, it's just $10 a month, um, I forget about it, my account will have $0 in it. Oops, sorry about that. Um, my account will have $0, and then this company will go to take this money out of my account, and boom, a $10 Photoshop um, subscription turns into a $45 Photoshop, Photoshop subscription because of the overdraft fees. So that's what I'm really trying to stay on top of right now. So then we have Movie Pass, which is another $5. This is separate from entertainment for me, even though it is for movies. Let's see. Dog food. Oh, I'm supposed to be checking this off as I go. Dog food is 15. And 
I already have 30 in here, so whenever I need to pay for dog food, that'll be all ready. Gas will be 40. I'm excited about this because I don't think I'm going to need to buy gas in the next two weeks. My car is full and I don't really have anywhere to drive, so... Exciting. Groceries will be another 40. I know this is really low compared to some people, but I'm lucky that I really don't have to buy that many groceries. Spending money. This is another one that's exciting because I think I had $9 left over. Oh, 19. So now I'll have 59. That's exciting. I'm going to the zoo tomorrow, so I'll probably spend some of that there. Um, car maintenance. So this is getting into sinking funds. So I'm going to grab the pen that I like to use. Okay, I don't like to have different color pens on the same sheet. Um, let's see. It is the 25th. And I'm putting in 45, so that brings me to 125. I'll just count that to make sure. So I'm putting in another 45. Okay, so right now I have one, two, five, 20, 21. Okay, perfect. So I have 125. If any of you guys know how to check and see how much your registration is going to be before they send you a bill, please let me know. I have no idea what mine's going to be. I'm just kind of going off of what it was when I purchased the car. So hopefully that's what it is, but who knows? Um, let's see. School savings. So this one is not technically school savings right now, but it will be in the next after this paycheck and after the next paycheck, it's going to turn over into school savings. So that's why I'm just not changing the name because the same amount is going to go in there. Four fifty. So now. was 1,000, but now there is 1,450. Almost paid off the stupid loan that I took out. <laughs> okay. Now Disneyland gets 60. And I already have 100, so that'll make my new balance 160. Just like to count to make sure. Yep, okay. So I'm saving up $15 a paycheck for my boyfriend's birthday in September. So that. Five, Slow and steady. Makes things not so much of a shock or a burden when they actually happen. Same thing with Christmas. Saving up slow and steady. So that once it actually is here, I will have no problem spoiling people. So we have 32 in there now. And my goal is 500 by Christmas. So all I did for that was divide um, how many paychecks there were until Christmas, which I think was like 16 or something. And then I divided 500 by 16 to get that number. Okay, so anyone's wondering, 
toiletries I put in 15 so that's 54 I did my math correctly let's see I have a receipt from when I bought toothpaste the other day 20 30 40 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Maybe I didn't take out. Yeah, because the. Yeah, I paid $5, so that makes sense. Okay. I don't have white out, sorry. 49. I should have wrote on here the day that I took the money out. So I should have put, like, um, when was this? I think it was yesterday. 524 minus five dollars because i paid for some toothpaste so the new total is now 49 but i'm putting 15 in this just gives me such peace of mind because you never know when i'm gonna need you know new more shampoo some new makeup or something and that's the kind of stuff that you can't really not buy um so i like having this just set aside so that when i need stuff like that i have money for it um, clothing. It's gonna get 20. I saw a really, really cute um, sundress at TJ Maxx. I kind of want it, but I think it was like $20, so I wouldn't have enough with tax. But maybe next paycheck, I will go and get it if. Um, if you know, if I still want it. So that's one thing that I really like about taking your time and thinking about your purchases. It's like if you are thinking about the sundress for a month, when you buy it, you'll probably really like it and you'll wear it. If you buy something on a whim, I can't tell you how many times I bought something because I thought it was gorgeous and it sat in my closet and I never wore it. So this is one way to make sure that you don't really have buyer's remorse. Like if you think about things for a really long time before you buy them. So the fact that I'm gonna have to think about this dress for a month before I actually buy it, um, you know, will decrease the likelihood that I'll buy something that I won't actually use. Oh, I have not been checking these out. Okay, so the final thing is MacBook Pro savings. This one is exciting. I think I might even get it. Um, oh, I put money in here already. I forgot. So that's going to be... 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. This does not need to be neat. I mean, it's on a piece of lined paper, so I don't really care. Once this is done, I'm just going to take this off anyways and start a new one. Um, so we have $52 in there. And I forgot you get a student discount when you get a Mac... Um, when you get a MacBook through Apple. So hopefully I'll be able to get that and then I'll knock off a, you know, a couple months of having to wait for this and then I will sell my current laptop when we get close and I might be able to get this within like a year. <laughs> we'll see. So that is all of my envelopes for this paycheck. Um, so everything is funded. Um, this way, you know, I, I know exactly what I can spend on everything and I have all my bills half paid for or in some cases like with the car insurance and the phone bill um, they're taking care of for this month so that's really great so if anyone has any questions on how I do this please don't hesitate to ask but I just wanted to walk you guys through this how I do it um, let me just put these back in their envelopes so these are the big envelopes that I keep these in car payment, car insurance, phone bill. These are monthly expenses. The car payment, car insurance, Adobe Suite, movie pass, dog food, and um, not gas. Those go in monthly and into my safe. These three go into my wallet, gas, groceries, and spending. Let me grab that. 
So this is the wall that I use and I just keep everything in here. So I like to kind of alternate them so I'll keep, well gas I'm not really going to use. So I'll keep gas on one side, groceries on the other, and spending money on this side. So that way, you know, wherever I go, I know exactly how much I have for each of these categories. Things like clothing and toiletries, um, when I know I'm going to spend them, I'll take them out of my sinking funds and put them in my wallet. So if I'm like, okay, today I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and get that sundress, I'll get the clothing envelope and I'll put that in my wallet. So that way, when I'm out and about, I don't just think to myself, you know, I really want to get this. Um, but I don't have my clothing envelope, so I, it kind of limits impulse buys that way. You know, I could use my spending money or one of the other categories and kind of pay myself back, but usually I don't want to go through the hassle of doing that. But So those are going in my wallet. And then, let's see. I like to kind of keep them in order of importance almost. So this is what's coming up in August. Um... I mean, this one's kind of more important. It's due before that. Disneyland is in August, September, December, and then, you know, this one goes at the very back because it's definitely a want. Um, if you watched my sinking funds video, you might be wondering why I didn't put any money into medical or dental, but that's because I don't have these set up for my sinking funds right now. It's just kind of anything extra that I can throw in here, I will. Um, so those will go behind here. I'll go in my sinking fund envelope, which is just massive, but it doesn't go anywhere, so I don't mind. And that'll go in my safe as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend and you stay safe. If you have any questions or you have anything else that you want me to make a video on, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know. See you next time. Bye.